So today we're going to look at um, cleaning up uh, your hydrogen and your parts and getting rid of your your old root systems. So if you look here, this is one of my Adriana lattice heads. We've obviously cut it off because it's all finished and it's pretty gross, a lot of nasty stuff in there. So the first thing you want to do is separate your hydrogen pellets. Um, what I got here is a cheap colander that I picked up from a garage sale for 10 cents. And what we're going to do is we're going to empty it out, separate the roots and start throwing some bits and pieces away. So how we do it is you literally just rip off these old roots off the bottom of the pot and start pulling bits and pieces out there. Put your clay pot to one side for now. As you'll see here, all the hydrogen is uh, mingled in with the roots, so you just have to work it and uh, put it into the, uh, the colander. And just work your way through. Pushing in, you're gonna get some roots in there, but don't worry about it, they're gonna wash out. The more of this hydrogen you can recycle, the cheaper it's gonna be for you. So uh, I spend a bit of time going through it piece by piece. Um, Cause every one of these little pebbles is money. Okay. All right. That's every one out of there. What am I hiding? Okay, as you can see, we're all clean now. You're tempted to throw this in your uh, compost heap. That's why I cut it off at the top at the beginning. Um, you can throw the top piece away into your compost heap, but I wouldn't throw this in because uh, this is biodegradable, but it's going to take forever to break down in your compost heap. So I, I wouldn't bother. I just throw them away. So once you've done that, uh, we can throw this in the trash. Okay, so I've separated all my pots from my hydrogen and as you can see on the bottom of the pot here, if you look closely, it's covered in this little white film plus roots, some dried leaves and basically we've got to get all that contamination off there, especially the white stuff on the bottom uh, because those are the salts left by the nutrient solution that wasn't absorbed by the plants and what that could do is it can throw off your next batch of nutrient solution and cause problems with your plants so we've got to get these as clean as possible so first we'll put these to one side and we'll deal with the hydrogen as you see the hydrogen's got a lot of leaves and roots and uh, white salts already on there uh, so we need to get that separated first so first thing we need to do is to flood this and uh, separate the, the leaves. So what I like to do is I like to fill it up with water and fill the sink up and what will happen is the hydrogen will also float and separate away from the leaves and roots for the bulk of it and then you can just scoop it off the top. So let's do that. So as you can see, as the sink fills up, uh, the solution, the water outside, all the little roots are washing out through the bottom and also the stuff getting to the top. So once it gets level, all you can do is move it around and you'll see a lot of the bigger leaves and stuff will float to the surface and we can just literally remove those with your fingers. As you can see in the water around the edges, a lot of the smaller roots are passing through the uh, the colander and into your sink. So this is you know, just agitate it, move it around a little bit. And then as those bits and pieces float to the surface and also pass through the colander, you can see the, uh, the water in the sink is getting full of little roots. So this is a quick and easy way. Um, pull out the bigger parts. So after a, little, a couple more minutes of this, and I've separated out all the big chunks.
Just keep agitating it, keep moving it around. And as you can see, in the water, a lot of roots. So you can just basically flush that away and you'll see the bulk of it has actually uh, cleaned this up. So now we're going to take this to stage two. So the next thing we're going to do is I got this pan here from a garage sale. We're going to bring a pan of water to the boil. Don't fill it all the way to the top because you've got to get your hydrogen in. And then literally I've just put that hydrogen um, in the water and you can see there's still more roots attached to it. Uh, this process here is going to help kill a lot of the bacteria and also uh, clean off some more of the roots. So you, as, as the uh, water boils, it'll agitate them and start um, rolling the hydrogen around and uh, it'll separate more of the roots but it'll also kill the bacteria. It'll also remove a lot of the old salts from the, uh, from the, uh, from the clay pebbles and um, we'll let it do its thing. I'd say let it boil on a rolling boil for around about five minutes. So bring it to the boil, let it roll for five minutes. We've got a bit of a rolling boil there. Every so often, just give it a bit of a stir so they're all constantly moving around. And like I say, pull out any extra roots. And just keep it going. So now we're going to focus on net pots. So we need to get all the roots off and uh, clean them all up and get them ready for our next uh, transplant. And simple, hot water and a little scrub sponge. Um, just really give it some hammer and just really scrub that stuff off there. It's baked on pretty tight so you don't have to get in all the cracks so that little abrasive sponge, or that, sorry the little abrasive part on the sponge is great for getting that stuff off. So just getting all the little nooks and crannies And then also on the inside, don't want to forget the inside, give it a rinse. Okay. And we're good to go. The only thing I would do next is, as you can see here, I've got a bucket of water, um, hot water, um, not boiling hot, but just hot to the touch. And then what I've done in here, I've added a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and what we're going to do is we're going to set off all these and we're going to drop these in the water. They should float around and let them sit there for around about 30 minutes. So these have been boiling now for around about five minutes so that should have killed a large percentage of the germs. What we're going to do to make sure now is give these a bath in the hydrogen peroxide solution. So let's drain them out. So what we do is I'm going to give them another rinse in cold water. Cool them down a little. Now see any more little roots coming out. And you see the left of the debris. Okay, so when you see no more debris falling out the bottom, it means we're more or less totally clean. So to do that for a couple of minutes. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to where we're soaking our pots in the uh, hydrogen peroxide solution. And we're going to just drop that in there and agitate it for a little bit. You can get that solution all over your hydrogen. Yeah, and we're going to let that whole thing there soak for an hour. 
So it's an hour later, and what we're going to do now is uh, we're take it out, put it back in your sink. We're going to give it one last rinse off. Okay, so we're just rinsing it off. And same with the net pots. Just give them a bit of a rinse. Just put them on your drying area. And there you go, you're all done. Let this dry off and now your hydrogen and your net pots are all ready to use again.